John Enright, welcome to uh, <laughs> Plumas and the finish line. But take us back to uh, the start of the race. It was, uh, it was pretty good for you, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we had a good start. Um, certainly just try to get out of the Solent with no disasters and then hold on in conditions that, you know, the boat's not traditionally very strong in, um, which we were able to do, which kind of set us up for some conditions that the boat really excelled in. So um, well sailed, but also, you know, good conditions for the boat. There was a hole, of course, that light weather. Um, how did you get around that? I think keeping separation to the north was pretty key. Um, you know, it, it definitely made it a smaller light air zone than we originally anticipated. And, you know, thank God for us because the boat doesn't go well on the light. So it all worked out. You got through that and off towards the rock. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just being able to hang on in the first third of the race really set us up for the rest. And you got to the rock in record time for you. Yeah, for me personally. You know, it's nice to see it during the day. It's certainly an iconic landmark and, um, you know, something you don't take lightly. Very much so, and uh, in touch with the big boats in front, you could still see them. Yeah, it was kind of uh, you know a funny thing to get around the rock in uh, you know a position to see a hundred footer, and then you know glimpses certainly of Rambler after they'd rounded ahead. But um, yeah, it was cool uh, for the little seventy. They stretched out, of course, in front of you because uh, faster downwind. But you made good VMG progress, didn't you, to stay in touch? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, initially everyone was a little frightened that uh, maybe they weren't going to lay in, and uh, we kind of just. You know, it was the only sale we had, so we had to put it up and give it a go. And uh, kind of anticipated a little lift in the end, and then obviously went on a different side of the TSS than those guys, um, which I think was a little gainer. But uh, then Waterline took over, and they stretched out. So you can only do what you can do. Exactly. Well, you won the Transatlantic. That's great. Um, and it's looking good for this one. On yeah, Africa. yeah. We set out to do the uh, Atlantic Ocean Racing Series, uh, starting with the Caribbean 600, which was a good one for us, too, and Transat. And if we could do this, it would uh, really be the cherry on top. And a great international crew. You've got an Australian navigator, you've got Canadians on board, Americans and English. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we're an international bunch with a lot of experience. And the best thing is, you know, we, we, we work well together, which is the most important. So. Fingers crossed you got the overall handicap then. Now yeah. it's a wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good eight hours, I think we should know.